search for mysql then click on the mysql installer and then here you can see two buttons to download click on the second one which is 435 mb then I, no need to sign up you just need to click on not thanks and click on download it takes time depend on your internet speed you have to wait a while till it gets downloaded after downloading i double click on the file which got downloaded it will open the installer screen may blink a couple of times during installation you can click on any of the options here i am going with custom and i am choosing the required things so i am choosing mysql server and opening the applications i am choosing this shell as well then click on next so if you already installed it will ask something like this and click on execute i have choose two things server and shell uh, if you need more things you can choose multiple things as well so this this will take some time uh, wait for a while till it gets installed After installation click on next and click on next again then no need to configure any of these things click next and then next and then create password uh, you should remember this password and it will be needed in the future Uh, there are options to add user here uh, we can skip it click on next you can even untick the start mysql server at system startup if you don't require that server uh, during the windows startup and click on next then execute it will update or it will install all the things Then installation is complete you can click on finished now you can open visual studio and get it configured for using mysql database uh, here you can see the last icon the last icon is the extensions click on that and search for sql tools sql tools is SQL tools is just for adding the database to eclipse uh, this uh, visual studio code so after installing you can see one more icon at the bottom if you see not drivers installed click on search visual code marketplace and choose this SQL tools and install that as well uh, this is for connecting DB so after after this you can connect your db and just give my sql or any name as you preferred so database also you can give my sql or my db or anything then username is root uh, by default and give the password uh, which you have given uh, which you have given earlier then dust connection it's done So now you may face some issues uh, due to user configurations. So if if it happens like this, then just go to command prompt and type MySQL version. So if this is coming for you, it's we have to go ahead. Otherwise, you can skip the next couple of steps. 
so just search for the location where the SQL server got installed and type cmd there and search mysql version uh, type mysql version so it will show the current version so this is the path which we have to copy and paste it in uh, environment variables so just copy and paste that path add this path here and click on ok after adding the path uh, you can go to cmd command prompt and click on my, uh, type mysql double underscore double hyphen version I'm clicking on on typing on this you'll get sql version so now it's fine so type uh, as i'm typing mysql underscore mysql hyphen root minus p so type this as well this is to create a user and we'll be giving uh, privileges grand old privileges and then flushing privileges and we have to give the username here sql user the same like we have typed in the command prompt and password will be password itself so you can give the password click ok then click on disconnect and connect again so now you can see uh, it will ask for password again give password as the password which we have given in the command prompt and now database is coming these are the database currently i have so these things are coming yeah. so if, even if you type show databases it will show the databases also yeah that's it uh, for installing sql database please let me know if you have any doubts or comments thank you for watching please like and subscribe